the number five Iowa Hawkeyes, 10 and one overall against the seven and three Golden Gophers of Minnesota, trying to rebound from two consecutive losses. Iowa and Ohio State, picture perfect in conference play. This is Iowa's final conference game. Ohio State with a matchup today in Illinois, finishing up next week against Michigan. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, along with Bob Davey. Thanks for coming aboard, Bob. The magnitude of today's game for Iowa is enormous. A win, they get a share of the Big Ten Conference title for the first time since 1990. A loss, it'll be a season that could have or should have been. Mark, Iowa may be the story of the year in college football. Before the season, no one picked Iowa to finish in the top 25. In fact, most experts picked them to finish in the bottom half of the Big Ten. And they were playing a senior quarterback who never started before, and no one ever heard of him. Now at the end of the season, they're rated fifth in the country and playing today to finish undefeated in the Big Ten. And that quarterback no one ever heard of, now he's a legitimate Heisman candidate. You're, of course, referring to Brad Banks, the quarterback. Three and a half short years ago, he's playing junior college football in Mississippi. Nobody symbolizes the team's resurgence more than him. Mark, Brad Banks has great statistics. He's number one in the whole NCAA in passing efficiency. He's number one in the Big Ten in total offense. But to really appreciate him, you have to see him play. He can run. He can throw, but what sets him apart, he makes great decisions, and he doesn't panic. First down and five for the Hawkeyes. Minnesota coming with a little pressure to blitz. Banks makes them pay to Clark. Dallas Clark all the way down to the 23-yard line. Eight, nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. And here's the diminutive Fred Russell. Making a house call. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. From 47 yards out, Caden pushed it off to the right. Just his second miss of the season. Maybe he kicks better in the wind, Mark. <laughs> Second down and nine. Three receiver formation for the Gophers. Complete to Burns. Still on his feet. Fighting. Touchdown, Minnesota. What an effort. First down and ten. See if Brad Banks can respond. Fred Russell doing his best. His game speaking volumes. Fred Russell all the way down to the 12-yard line. A little option. Lewis heading for the edge. Touchdown, Iowa. <laughs> Down in 16. And he got to the shotgun. Pressure off the edge. And he's hit and brought down. Howard Hodges sacked him back at the 15 yard line. They say they should have the ball, too. And Iowa. Has first down at Minnesota's 15 on the fumble. This is a football player on that scout team every day. They run the option into the boundary. Banks on his feet. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Brad Banks smell the end zone. Third down and four. Minnesota coming with a blitz. Banks completes it underneath to Ochoa. And it's right near the first down marker. Looks like he has it from our vantage point. Right at the 46. After the coaching change, second down and seven. Lewis hitting the edge and hitting it hard. Jermel Lewis. Another first down for the Hawkeyes at the 33-yard line. Yeah, Dad was right, Holly, after all. Second down and eight. Banks. Looks like a good quarterback. Touchdown, Hawkeyes to Moore Brown. They run the option. Touchdown, Minnesota. Abdul Khalid. He did it himself. They need to break a couple big plays in the passing game to win this game. They run it again in a loose ball. It's on the carpet, and Iowa has it. Derek Pagel recovered the loose ball. First one led to a touchdown by the Hawkeyes. 
Banks hands it off to Russell. The zone play. And Fred Russell is in the zone. Mitigating circumstance for Banks. Third down and three. Touchdown, Solomon. If you haven't seen Brad Banks, if you haven't paid attention to the Heisman hype on Brad Banks by now, well, you better ask somebody and look in on Brad Banks. They are two of seven on third down. This is second and goal. It's 58 yards running the ball. That's out of the offset eye. They run the option. Touchdown, Gophers. Kirk Ferentz obviously wanting, holding on that play. First down and 10. Yeah, we have chronicled and documented the productivity and the stories of the Iowa Hawkeyes this year. It's been a great run for Iowa and a good run here. Jermell Lewis still on his feet. Lewis! Tight roping down the sidelines, and he steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Yeah, go ahead, Jamel. Do your little dance. You deserve it. And the Hawkeye fans that have made the trip chanting now, we're number one. Lewis, Jamel Lewis, working Minnesota like a part-time job. Nate Kading now in to attempt a field goal. Little chip shot. And it's spotted at the 16. Actually, make that the 11. It's a 21 yarder. Good job by the holder to get that down. The most important field position and turnovers. Abdul Kalik going up top. And it's picked off by Javon Johnson. If you look at Iowa, Picks up an interesting prospect. Those two teams play, I think it would be an extremely competitive game. A lot of people around the nation don't know about how good Kirk Ferentz's team is, but I think it would be very even. You have to watch Iowa's team play to appreciate all the little things they do well and the balance they have as a football team, Mark. And they could play any team in the country and win. Minnesota coming up the middle and a great punt by Bradley. Back to the 13. And it's a fumble by Burns. The Hawkeyes say they have it, and they do. Here to put an exclamation point on their successful season. Are oh, you thinking bootleg right here with Banks? You got it. They run the reverse to Brown. And he stopped up short. The Gopher defense. Give it up to your teammates, all right? Hey, it's show biz, not show friends. Incomplete and a fumble. Close comes up with the loose ball. First and goal, Hawkeyes. An egregious turnover by Minnesota. Second and goal. Banks kept it himself. Touchdown, Iowa. It's all about the pig now. Floyd of Rosedale, the trophy they're playing for. Assad Abdul Khalid stopped up by Klaus. Minnesota chartered an airplane. Took their entire football team over to the funeral. And an interception. Number 20, Antoine Allen, coming up with the pick. Intended for Aaron Hosad. Thank you very much. They're down in 13. Maybe uh, share some of this cake with the uh, Hawkeyes down in the field. Mark, this is a great scene. Iowa coming in here, celebrating on the road. A great season for Kirk Ferentz, and enjoy every, every second of it. In just four years, that man has orchestrated perhaps the biggest turnaround of all the teams in D1 college football. Kirk Ferentz, with an Iowa school record 11th win. We'll hear from him shortly. Holly Rowe, right there on the field with Kirk Ferentz and Brad Banks, the man that Help them get there. Let's go downstairs to Holly, who's with the coach. Coach, let me be the first to present you with the uh, first official Iowa Big Ten Championship T-shirt. Congratulations. Thanks, Holly. That looks pretty good, I got to tell you. 
Well, we're a great been, team. ESPN and Iowa, right? Absolutely. We've been there with you since the beginning, the close win at Penn State in overtime. Your team has grown and matured as the season progressed, and they're still playing their best ball. They, they really are. We know we're a little sloppy at times today, but I'm, I'm not complaining. I'll guarantee you. Our guys have grown with each every week, like you said. I couldn't be prouder. Everybody has invested so much. Uh, you know, it's just a great experience for all these young guys. It started up front with the offensive line. Four long years it took you to build this. You've lost a lot of games in the process, but what can you say about those seniors on the line? I'll tell you what, 0-8 wasn't a lot of fun for, you know, a few years back, but to go from 0-8 to 8-0, just so, so uh, special. It's great for all of our seniors, our linemen, all of our seniors, and all the seniors that came before them, too. Those guys invested a lot also, had a big part in this. I don't think I'm going on a limb here. We've seen a lot of college football coaches, as you have. Brad Banks for Heisman is a legitimate candidate that people need to consider. If they don't, they're crazy. I just know, uh, you know, I've only seen our guy. Uh, you look at the numbers. I'm not saying he should win it, but... You know, I mean, he's got to be a candidate. I mean, what, who's, who's made more for our team, uh, done more for our team than Brad? All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll go back Thanks, up to the booth right. back in a moment with some We're of the other players. Both. You guys are with us, all right? All right. Part uh, of the deal. Our bosses, you hear that? All right. Thanks very much. <laughs> hey, we'll book our tickets with travel if we have to. A jubilant scene down to the field for the Iowa Hawkeyes and a time to really revel in the success of the whole program. Kirk Ferentz orchestrated it all. He's one of their own. He learned at the feet of Hayden Fry and came back, took the job four years ago. First season, they went one and ten. There were doubters. There were detractors. There were those that thought that it would never get turned around. But you know what? Here they are, and Kirk Ferentz and his troops are saying, how do you like us now? Sitting at 11 and 1 overall, 8 and 0. Undefeated in the Big Ten this season. And now they wait to see what happens, what transpires with Ohio State later today on ABC at 3.30 Eastern time as they play Illinois. Let's go downstairs to Holly Rowe. Brad, nobody knew your name coming into this college football season. How can you describe the ride you've been on in your first and only year as a starter? It's been, been real good. Uh, this season nobody expected me to do what I do uh, but you know thanks to the you know the offensive line and the whole team you know I was able to do whatever I think one of the real compliments for you your teammates say you are exactly the same on the first call of the game as you are throwing a game-winning touchdown your demeanor in the huddle and your demeanor with your team has really marked this season how do you explain that well, I guess that's the way I just been brought up uh, so I'll just carry it over the field. That's it. I know this is distracting. They're yelling Heisman, but give us your pitch. Why do you deserve the Heisman and don't be modest? I guess because the fans love me. <laughs> the fan favorite. I'd be remiss without talking here to Colin Cole, the leader up front on this defense. Colin, this defense has done it all year. So many sacks, so much disruption. What do you say about your teammates? I think, I think that everybody out here is giving 100%. Unfortunately, we are missing one guy out of here today. One guy lost his, uh, his grandfather this week, and we're sorry for him. And we want to let him know this win was for him. Jonathan Babineau is who you're referring to. Your thoughts go out to him. All season long, the defense and special teams have made key plays at key times. You did it again today, first in so many turnovers. Yeah, the Hawkeye defense has been on the radar all season. And we, we finally made a statement, not, not just this game, but games past, but this game especially. All right, thanks very much, Colin. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It may look like we're in Iowa City, folks, but remember, we are in Minneapolis. But those fans you see on the screen made the trip, some of them driving as long as five hours along I-80 and I-35. And for them, it was worth it. The final score, 45-21 Iowa undefeated in Big Ten play. Brad Banks, Heisman, you bet it. Got to consider him. Coming up next, it's College Game Day Now presented by Acura. There's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Bob Davey, Holly Rowe, and the rest of our ESPN gang, I'm Mark Jones. Reese Davis, it's all about the pig. Back to you. Harris <laughs> gets a ride, 45-21. The Hawkeyes oh. win, and look, whoa, whoa, whoa. They go into the Gophers' house. 
they take down their goalposts and they start playing some crazy music and running around the dome with it. They don't know where to go. They can't get out of the dome. What are you going to do? The lid on the stadium, you can't just lift that thing out of there. Somebody needs a power saw to carve it up so we can get that thing on eBay. Can we find an exit, please? Is, is that... I you can't believe that you're in Minnesota, that a team comes into your house and takes your goalpost down and celebrates with your goalpost and takes it home to Iowa City. Are you kidding me? Well, you've gone back out there. And I'd have gone back out there. And